Hello, and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a lot better because now we have new material that we can work with, which is actually the previous videos that I've made. And I can use that to go further with what I was wanting to show you guys. So, starting up the blender, I come to this screen. I go over to the top of the sequencer which is down at the bottom and where it says view select marker add strip image I select add I go to movie and I click on it now it'll bring up these options this is the game that I was showing in my last video but I don't want that what I want to do is I want to come over here to system which is quicker I could use these top options if I wanted to but I'm going to go ahead and use the side option where it says system under volumes in local disk C. I'm going to go down to videos and I believe I have those in in edited. I don't know why I have them in edited but I do under working with audio and video. I'm going to select that one then I'm going to go to blender and I am going to use video editing using Blender 3.5 and that's part one click on that and then I add movie strip now before I get started I also want to mention that I, on this uh, blue cursor always make sure that it is right here at the beginning where it says uh, plus zero one and how you do that is you hold shift and you push the directional button to that, uh, the left directional button on your keyboard and that should make sure that it stays at one if you want it to go all the way to the end where I have it at 15 minutes then I would push shift and then the right directional arrow button and it would go there so you'd see that <coughs> so now I have my video on there I want to make sure that it's synced so I I put it back on the 15 minutes so what I do is I hit shift left directional button it goes to the beginning it's at plus zero one the cursor is so in both the audio and the video are highlighted which means they're selected so what I do next is I hit G and there both the audio and video says one on the left hand side so that means that they are in sync there and then on the right hand side it says the numbers are six four eight five three on both the audio and video so that, that means it's, that they are synced up with both the audio and video it's all good so after I'm done there and I've confirmed that everything's synced up I go ahead and I hit my left button without moving or left mouse clip without moving the mouse and everything should be perfect and ready to go now to hear the audio I can hit play and um, listen to what the video and the audio says and to do that all I have to do is hit the space bar hello everybody and welcome this is Roger Hansen and I'm here to do my first walkthrough for blender 3.5 okay so now whenever I bring this video out I do not want this scene right here showing so what I do is I hit play I let this run through and then I hit uh, space bar again which will stop the video after that I go and I don't hit the shift what I do is I just hit the left con the re left directional key on my keyboard until it shows the OBS screen now I want to then tap one at a time slowly 
until on the right directional key until that scene is gone and it shows my desktop now as you can see it fades out like that I wait until that's gone and then it's ready to clip so I take my mouse and I put my pointer on the left hand side of my cursor I come up to my keyboard and I hit K which is cut now that part is cut and it's highlighted now if you need to you can scroll in to see it to make sure and to do that you take your middle mouse wheel and you just aim it uh, roll it towards the computer and as you can see it is highlighted I'll bring it up a little bit better that way you can see it there so it is highlighted now all I have to do there is I have to hit X which is delete now that's deleted so it's cleaned up I come over here I can hit A which is select all or I can do it like this I can take and hold down on my left uh, clicker click on my mouse and I can drag it down and select both the audio and video at the same time like I did that there then after those are selected I hold down on the shift and the left controller or the left directional button and I push the left directional button until it goes to plus zero one so that it's at the beginning now once that's done I go onto the keyboard and I press G now with snapping on it'll bring the video and audio automatically to one I just have to left click again and it's set now sometimes it doesn't go to one it'll go to zero so you'll have to check that and if it does do that then what you have to do is hit G then one that'll bring it to two now to back out of that if you go G and then one and it goes to two like that instead of hitting the left button on the mouse you hit the right button and it'll reset it back to one you can do that with anything just hit the right button and it'll put it back where it belongs so now I have the beginning of this starting on my desktop and it's all set and ready to go hello everybody and welcome this is Roger Hansen and I'm here to do my first walkthrough for Blender 3.5 on uh, this tutorial I'm going to do something that's a little different from what most people on Blender are doing so now I have it started where I want it um, and with this video I don't want it to be 15 minutes I want it to run the full extent of the video so what I do is I take and I hold shift again the left directional button on my keyboard I push that bring it to one after my cursor is back on one I press G and over don't touch the mouse or anything just leave it alone and down on the bottom where it's on the right hand side and it shows those numbers remember those numbers it's 64 778 so 64778 left click to leave it all be so you come down here to the bottom far right hand side where it says current frame is at one so the start is at one and this third one it's the end this is the one that's the end frame so what I want this to do is to match up with those numbers that are on the audio and video so what I do is let me first get it again I hit G 64 778 come down here I tap on that and I type in 64 778 and automatically the end of that video will be at 
that number right there. Now if I want to double check, I just hit G, 64, 778, and make sure the numbers match, and it's good to go. Now to come over here, I go to the end, I look at the video footage, and I see how much needs to be at the end and you follow their directions you do exactly what they do is and I can tell that I'm still talking there and stuff like that so I'm going to end this video and I hope you guys learned something from it and it helped you out okay so I like that and I'm just going to leave it alone Right here now, I am going to go into the audio part. <coughs> so I like the way the voice sounds on there, so that's not going to be changed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep those selected. I'm going to hit G and then Y. Now that's going to lift the audio and video up, and I'm going to bring it up one space like that. Make sure that all the numbers match. And from this point, what I am going to do is I am going to come back up here to the top of the sequencer, go to add, and instead of adding a movie, I'm going to go to sound, and I'm going to add a sound. Now over on the left hand side, under volumes, where systems is, I'm going to go to my document section, which says music. In the music section, I have a folder set up. It's my filing uh, folder system, and it has its name Background Audio. I come in here, and I choose which background audio that I want to use. I'm going to use Background Audio 5, which is FLAC, and I'll explain that to you later on, too. But I'll use that to put in there in its place. So now I have background audio to go with my voice and the video. Hello now that's a little loud, so I'm going to have to adjust the volume. And this is how you adjust the volume. You make sure that that audio is selected. And over here on the right hand side, on the top part, make sure that the tab is on strip. The top one on the left hand side, you have strip tool modifiers proxies make sure that that's selected and just to the right of that still in that boxed area where it says sound you go to that area and you'll notice that volume and is there pan is there mono display waveform and you can use display waveform and if you use that it will show you the sound for that. Now you can also use that on your voice uh, thread. That way you can kind of get an idea of the voice and the difference. In and welcome to this. And you can't barely hear your own voice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and click on the background audio uh, stream here. I'm going to come up here to volume and I am going to click on it and uh, type in on my numeric pad point five, and then see what it sounds like. That'll lower it down to point five instead of one. This is Roger Hansen, and I am here to do my first. It's still kind of loud, so I come back up here, click on volume, and I put point two into the volume and I see how it sounds there. So walk through for Blender 3.5. On uh, this tutorial I'm going to do something that's a little different from what most people on Blender are doing when it comes to doing walkthroughs and tutorials. Back in the day when uh, Blender was older you've seen a lot of videos Okay, so it's not as bad, but it's still kind of loud, so I am going to select point one, 
5.15 not 45.15 <laughs> and we will see what that sounds like which pertain to the video editing editing side of blender but here lately you don't see that very much so so I have a subtle background audio going on with my video so that's good but it, you notice that's only a clip and I want this background audio to sp spread out all the way over to here now with video I could easily just clip on the click on the end right there hit grab and X and then stretch it out and then come up here and use a, an effect strip for speed control and everything would be taken care of but that doesn't work with audio so what I do here is I just come here I click on my background audio I go down I hit shift and press D then after I press D I hit enter and it automatically puts it beside it and the next duplicated audio is selected and highlighted so I keep my finger on the shift and I press D again hit enter shift D enter shift D enter shift D enter shift D and just keep doing it until the end of the video now I can go ahead and I can come I, I can go ahead and hit shift and then I can hit my directional uh, key which is to the right and bring it to the end of the video after that and if I wanted to cut this off I just bring it to the end I go one tab over so that it's off of the video and then I hit K and K will cut there make sure my mouse is on the right hand side so that the right hand side is still selected and when I do that I just hit X and delete that okay so now I have my background audio and it's at the volume that I want it and it's duplicated hello everybody and come here and I want to hear how the transition sounds we're here and let me make sure uh, if you come all the way to the end you'll see right here where the plus sign is right here it says add workspace add a new workspace by duplicating the current one or appending from the user configuration don't worry about all that just click on that plus here it'll come down it'll, it'll do a drop down option go to video editing and then instead of coming to render go down to video editing click on it and that will create a video editing tab for you now if you notice my screen isn't all there I've tested out my audio it sounds good and the reason why it's not all there is because of the settings that I've set up for this from the time before I believe so no actually it's not so now when you do that what you do is you come in here and you hit save now I'm not gonna save this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show it but you save it and when you do it'll pop this huh <laughs> yeah so I just realized something that has happened there and I don't know exactly what that was caused from to be honest with you it could have been from my OBS but I don't quite see that um, my resolution maybe 
So I come up here. Well, first I've got to go into my OBS settings and I've got to see what my output resolution is. It's 1280 by 720. And in my recording, it is 1920 by 1080. And I'm not streaming, so I need to go into my settings here. And I will see if maybe that's doing it. 1280 by 720. And no, that's not doing it. So now that I've checked that, I want to undo the changes I've just made. So I come and I hit Control Z. And it will change all that back. <coughs> so now. I have all of that checked out. Um, when I come in here, I was wanting to do something with the video, and I completely forgot what that was. But I have my audio set up, and that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, hello everybody and welcome this is Roger Hansen and I'm here to do my first walkthrough for Blender 3.5 on uh, this now I know that the backgrounds uh, matching up with my voice it's not drowning it out and on the video I was wanting to go over something that I wanted to do, but I have no clue what it was. Maybe I will cover that later on. I believe I'm already, no, I'm only at 22 minutes. So uh, I have all that set up now up here in my uh, on the right top hand corner I went over before the resolution it's at 1920 pix by uh, pixels by 1080 pixels at 100 percent that's where you adjust your resolution the frame rate is 30 frames per second and down here is the output now this is where the file will go and over here on the right hand side where it says videos I'm going to take it to edited and I will put it in working with audio and video now at the moment I have a video in there that is this one so I'm not going to put it in there I'm just going to leave it out here now if you want to if you want to just go ahead and put the same name on there and then up here where the arrow points up hit up on that you can do that just make sure you come down here and delete the mp4 at the end and it'll go into the folder just above the blender folder and you can do it that way um, after you have done that and you've got that set up, you come down here to the file format and I've got mine on uh, FFmpeg. Um, I know that some people use WebP and um, other programs like that, AVI RAW. I use FFmpeg uh, and I use MPEG4 which is MP4. but you can also use AVI, you can use QuickTime, Matroska, and WebM. WebM is supposed to be a more condensed video file that you can use. Um, it's also useful on your OBS for if you want to have uh, quick transitions and stuff like that. There's also something else on there that I completely forgot about. I forgot what the name of it is. It's a. Uh, let me see real quick. 
well maybe they don't have it no more but it's it's a quick transition basically like if you want to start a pop out in between each scene or you want it to do like that you can do it but they might have taken that off of uh, OBS but <coughs> that's what that's good for um, but I generally go with MPEG-4 um, here lately I've been having to use uh, high quality because I've been doing work with other people and I I generally use medium you know what I mean medium quality I don't like use high quality unless somebody else wants me to I set it at AAC but you can also use FLAC you can use MP3 you can use Vorbis different things like that um, on here you can use four channels 5.1 surround 5.7 surround you can use stereo or mono I, I generally use mono so uh, that's what I basically do there those are my settings now after I have all those set up and it's ready to go I come all the way up here to the top on the left hand side where you see file and render and I come over to the render and I use render animation now I can also use control and F12 or if I just want to see what a particular scene will look like I can come in here and I can just hit F12 and it will take and show me that one scene and when I do that it will show an image let me see if I can catch that by any chance for you I can probably get that on here Um, yeah here we go and this is the image that it took so that you guys can see it that will show if you just hit F12 now I can also drop this down and let you see it again so what I do is I come in here and I hit F12 should pop up oh, it didn't that's an OBS issue <laughs> so I'm not going to stay focused too much on that but anyhow um, after I do that what I usually do and this is just me but I hit shift I use my directional left uh, arrow I bring it to the beginning and I come up here like I said to render at the top left hand side I go down to render animation and then I hit render animation and it begins to render my video try to get it set up there we go it actually did it so this is what it does and it'll render all that out it could take some time to do um, I'm actually going to use that render for the first video so it, you're not going to see what was the raw video until the fourth video of this uh, this series I'm planning on maybe doing 12 uh, videos all together like I said the only reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to make a video that would help out some of my friends who are having issues with making their own videos maybe it'll help them um, I'm not trying to like become some you know guru of uh, 
of uh, Blender because I'm not, I'm still learning myself. But I do know quite a bit about the video editing. That's what I use the most on here. And um, I figured I would give it a try and make some videos of it, especially since the new upgrades they did to Blender. You don't see very many uh, video tutorials concerning the video editing part of Blender. So I figured this is where I could contribute. So I've made it to 30 minutes. I am going to drop this off of my uh, editing for or off of my OBS and I'm going to end the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something.